So here we have got a quadratic equation x square plus px plus q is equal to zero. We have to find the value of p and q. Now basically these are the roots of this quadratic equation. What will be the sum of the roots? 2 plus i root 3 plus 2 minus i root 3. Now we have to find the value of q as well. For that we can take the product of the roots of this quadratic equation. So here we have got a quadratic equation x square plus px plus q is equal to 0 and one of its roots is given over here that is 2 plus i root 3 and we have to find the value of p and q. So basically you obviously know that i over here is the iota right. So when the roots they are of this form that is imaginary roots. So if one root is of this form automatically the other root will be the conjugate of it. So it will be 2 minus i root 3 or iota root 3 right. Now basically there is a proof understanding to it as well but right now we are not doing it in this question. Now basically these are the roots of this quadratic equation. Now if we see uh, if we compare the given quadratic equation with the standard form of a quadratic equation that is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 over here. And if we find the sum of the roots over here, what will be the sum of the roots? 2 plus i root 3 plus 2 minus i root 3 and that is equal to what guys? Minus b by a. You have already studied this. That is minus b by a. Now if you compare the given quadratic equation with the standard form of a quadratic equation, minus b by a will be what guys? Minus p by 1 over here. So you see this will get cancelled out. So from here what we will get guys minus p is equal to 4 or I can say p is equal to minus 4. So this is the first part of the answer. Now we have to find the value of q as well. For that we can take the product of the roots of this quadratic equation. So the product of the roots will be what guys 2 plus i root 3 into 2 minus i root 3 and that is equal to what guys the product of the roots is equal to c by a right now over here if you compare with the standard form of a quadratic equation c over here is q and a was obviously 1 so that is q by 1 over here now if you multiply them you see they are of the form a plus b a minus b so a plus b a minus b is a square minus b square so that identity can be used so this is 2 square minus i root 3 the whole square and that is equal to q over here now you see this is 4 over here and I can say see this is nothing but i square into root 3 the whole square and that is equal to q. Now from here if you further simplify what will we get guys this is 4 and you see i square is nothing but minus 1 you have studied this minus 1 and 1 negative is already there so it is minus into minus 1 basically minus 1 into minus 1 into root 3 square will be 3 only and that is equal to q. So from here we can say that q is coming out to be equal to 4 plus 3 and that is equal to 7. So q is equal to 7 and p is coming out to be equal to minus 4. So minus 4 comma 7 is the answer. I hope it is clear to every student watching this.